everyone and welcome to my last episode of Shamwari TV. So today we are going to be going down for me to say goodbye to the Illies. It is time for Graffy to be released back into the wild. Hello everyone and welcome to my last episode of Shamwari TV. It's been a long road for me here at Shamwari, uh, starting seven years ago. What an amazing experience it has been. From raising the smallest of antelopes as a blue diker up to the biggest creatures being an elephant. I have just been completely blessed with being able to share in the lives of so many animals. So today we are going to be going down for me to say goodbye to the Ellies and have my final walk with them and just spend some quality time with them. Where's my gilly? Hello, my stout. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, my word. Hey, look how big you got. Oh, oh thank you. Really? Oh, my word. Hello. It's crazy to think that I've had a four year long journey with these elephants. Amara arriving completely dehydrated and malnourished when she was only three months old and getting her to where she is today. A year ago we were still touch and go to whether she was going to make it and if I just look at her now it has just been an absolute blessing in disguise just knowing that she's been able to make it. and. We at least know now that she has a fairly good chance of making it out in the wild. Stella arriving when she was two months old as this little feisty elephant. I'm just really proud of my team and the elephants for just being able to let us help them and raise them and get them back into the wild. are making provisions for the next step for them to get one step closer to the wild. It probably will be another couple of years before they do get released into the wild. It's not going to be an easy goodbye. Hi. Yo, I knew you would be a problem. Balance. Yeah, well done, Mars. That was steep. Yeah. Hello. Oh, jealousy arrived. Jealousy arrived. Hey. <laughs> Just. Hey. Are you going down, down? Why are you wanting all this attention? It's normally not you. Hey. You're gonna eat me. Thanks, Elsie. It 
just so happens that it is time for Graffy to be released back into the wild. And the fact that it coincides with me leaving just makes it bittersweet. <laughs> but I can't believe the, the little creature that I received five months ago has grown into the beautiful creature that he is now. Watching him develop and grow, develop different skills that I could never teach him, but that he just naturally knew and become the bat fox that he's meant to be has been an amazing process. He has probably been one of my favorite monsters here at the rehab center, and it's gonna be a very difficult goodbye, but I know that he's going into the wild where he's supposed to be, and that he's gonna have a good and happy life. Today is more sad for me than happy day, but as my job is to let them back into the wild, it is a very happy day. Dearest Scruff is now five and a half months old and ready to go back to the bush. He's done such an amazing job being able to dig for worms by himself and get all the different bugs and at night time he's very independent and does his own thing. We have got a population of bathead foxes on the reserve which is great. So we're going to go and release them in an area where we do know that there are other bathead foxes. With them being young enough and a good population I'm sure he's going to just thrive in the environment and hopefully live a happy life. <laughs> hey my lovey. So I think that was a, a successful release. As much as I expected him to rather dart away, he actually stayed around and explored his surroundings, which, which shows us also that he's comfortable in the surroundings and then disappeared off into a bush. So very, very happy, extremely sad, I'm going to be very hard sore to, to not see Graffy again. But yeah, what an experience it's been over the last five months raising him from a, from a little baby and to yeah, the adult that he is and releasing him back into the wild. I would just like to thank all the viewers for watching over the last couple of months, to Shamwari TV for these amazing episodes, to Shamwari Private Game Reserve for just giving me the most amazing career and experience of my life, to the rehab team and to Dr. Yohanya Bear for having the privilege of being able to be mentored by him and just follow him on a daily basis and work closely with him. So thank you everyone. I'm going to miss you all, my Shamwari family, and I just wish you all the best. Hello everyone, I'm Vet Nurse Megan from Shamwari Private Game Reserve. Thank you for watching another episode of Shamwari TV with us. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and follow us for some more amazing episodes.